Hey, hey, Ricardo here. So uh, I have a pretty interesting workflow over here. Uh, it's uh, for a Facebook ads agency and uh, allows to create up to 54 different custom audiences with one single click. So hear me out one sec. So uh, this uh, is working uh, using monday.com, but uh, uh, the initial part uh, is not the most important part. The most important part is uh, uh, all this bunch of different uh, uh, API calls that are created. So just to explain that a little bit, uh, we go into Facebook and we go into Meta for developers. So there's a, uh, there's a part with Facebook uh, uh, that allows you to create an application that you can use for your own internal uses. So what you need to do is you need to create an application and once you create the application, you need to make sure that this is associated to your account, this is associated to the things that you have access to and uh, make sure that you are using uh, the marketing API because the marketing API is the part that is related to everything around uh, Facebook ads. So once you have uh, this active and uh, you creating uh, the token, so here you see marketing API tools, you can select the token permission over here and you can get the access token to create the token. This is the most important component. So first off, you create the Facebook app. Secondly, you create the access token here. You select all the three things and you create the token. Next up, what you need to do is you need to search for Graph API Explorer. So this is the API that is used uh, by Facebook to um, um, to do a bunch of different stuff to access the ads, to access the uh, to access the audiences, to uh, access uh, um, different parts of the accounts that you have connected to your, your, your account. So there's also the possibility here to automate the reporting on the Facebook ads uh, outside Facebook, but that is a topic for another video. So um, what, uh, what we did over here, and uh, let me uh, show you the documentation for uh, the marketing API of Facebook. So this is the documentation uh, for Facebook and what we did here is we use this uh, uh, API call over here to create audiences to, to Facebook. So what we needed here was the um, Facebook ad account uh, and also for the other purposes we needed the uh, Facebook page account, uh, the Facebook pixel as well as the Instagram page uh, ID. So those uh, were the information that we use here. Um, here, everything is set up in a specific way so that, um, so that everything is set it up. Uh, so um, we uh, track specific events uh, into specific time periods. So this, for example, tracks, uh, uh, like creates uh, the custom audience for initiate checkout uh, seven days. Uh, this create the initiate checkout uh, uh, for 14 days and so on, up to 180 days. Same thing for add to cart, same thing for purchase, website visitor, Facebook engagers, Instagram engagers. So those are uh, different, uh, um, different accounts that are created over here. What we have down here then is we create the lookalike audiences related to specific uh, groups. So here, for example, we created that specific to purchasers. So we created a 1%, a 3%, a 5% for all the different, uh, uh, for all the different parts. So for, uh, for seven days, 14, 30, 60, 90, 180. So this is, uh, this is created here. In this way, you are able to create uh, 54 different uh, ad accounts in, uh, uh, sorry, 54 different custom audiences in just uh, uh, one click. And uh, this uh, roughly takes 10 minutes because the Facebook API has some specific limits that you need to, uh, that you need to adhere with. So here there are like 300 seconds, for example, uh, sleep, and here there's another 300 seconds sleep that you need to use. Uh, so this is uh, a little bit uh, the, the workflow. It starts from here, it starts from monday.com. Here what you do is uh, you, um, you put the Facebook pixel, the Facebook ad account ID, page ID, 
Instagram page ID and then um, and then when this is triggered, when this is ready, you uh, you start that out. So you see here there's a, a custom create custom audience checklist. So if I go over here and click on start and then go back here and click on create, then this will start creating all the different components. As you can see, this created a bunch of different components all at the same time and now it goes to sleep. So yeah, pretty much interesting, uh, pretty much interesting workflow here. If you are looking to build something similar or if you're looking to scale your operations thanks to automation and AI, uh, uh, send me a DM so we can keep in contact and I can understand what you are actually looking for. Hope you have an amazing day till then. Bye bye. Ciao.